Yes, yes, welcome to episode five, Gringo Latino Talks. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Thank you for joining. Episode five, already a month, guys. Already a month for us doing um, this show. I'd like to say thank you to everybody that's been watching, supporting, sharing, liking, commenting, even the haters. We want to shout out the haters as well. Thank you for, for fueling the energy. I got two wonderful guests today, Camilo and Oscar from Trusted Realty Inspections. How are you guys today? Um, I'm, I'm good. I just Yeah, I've just been waiting in excitement for my time <laughs> to arrive once again, my, uh, my presentation here on this podcast. So, so you've been just waiting for this opportunity again. Did you know you'd be back or did you just leave it up to God? I love it up to you left that up to God? Mm-hmm, yeah. And what did you do in the meantime while you were waiting? I stood and I waited. I went to school and I learned and then I came home and I, s- I, laid, I laid there. <laughs> you laid in your bed like that? Yeah, and I just, I waited. <laughs> <laughs> Oscar, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, Andres. What Thank you, you for having me. No problem. What do you think of our wonderful co-host today? Oh, I think it's going to be super exciting with them here. Just uh, another uh, very dynamic, you know, so oh, yeah, ex- uh, excited to hear your questions. <laughs> a little nervous, though. About <laughs> I'm excited to hear your answers. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> there you hopefully go. I don't uh, disappoint. So first question for Camilo. Do you know what a home inspector is? I can't tell you I do. No. You can't say you do. Okay, Oscar, you want to tell him what a, what a home inspector is? Uh, yeah, so um, our, my profession is typically revolves around uh, anybody wanting to buy a property. Uh, they, they, they look for a property with their realtor. They decide they found the right one and they want to put an offer in. Uh, to do their due diligence, they might put conditions, whether it's financing, one of them is a home inspection, just to find out what the condition of the home is, if there's any major issues, or anything that might come up in the future, and that gives them a better idea if they want to go ahead with the purchase of the property, or if they want to look for some w- something else. Camilo, you have any questions so far for Oscar? Uh, yes, you must be really good at just knowing about a house, right? Like, I mean, your whole job centers around seeing for other people if it's good um you must have a beautiful home i must say you <laughs> must live the life his, his home must be uh, immaculate <laughs> very very Perfect, nice 100% yeah, exactly. a plus plus inspection yeah. <laughs> um i yeah i try to maintain it for sure and uh, not let it get too too out of hand uh, especially if I know what what I look for in another house, so I I kind of look at the same thing in my house and and try to make sure be like you know what if I had a home inspection done on my house yeah would it pass and so yeah that that kind of motivates Ca- me to Camilo you'll you'll learn this a little bit I don't know if you know this now because you live you live with your grandparents and your mom but there's there's always work to do in a house oh and I'm I'm sure you get involved you help your mom or your grandparents like wh- wh- what kind of chores do they make you do around the house so this is uh it's not necessarily a chore because I choose to do it for oh, my okay. grandpa we have a big apple tree and it's got very nice apples and all the time I've been there even when I've not lived there when I've come around this time they've just had the best apples there but when you min- maintain an apple tree a lot of apples drop so every single day I, I, well, not every day. Sometimes I team like in four. Oh like yeah. A little oh ago. yeah. So every day, uh, not, w- yeah, not every day. Sometimes I have my little slips, but still most of the time I do it for my grandpa and, uh, yeah, it's, it's fun because you can see all the animals are putting them in these creative places. I saw a mm. squirrel and he put three apples and they were shaped kind of like a triangle mm-hmm. and it was funny because it, it was around a tree that had so many like animals in it you could see it all over the place and it looked like a ritual uh <laughs> it was it looked Careful really with those animals exactly <laughs> i just speaking about animals though animals it can be like a big issue in, with home inspections no? yeah oh yeah for sure especially uh in the attic is uh like whenever I, i'm going in and opening the hatch and going into the attic always have to be very careful you never know what Did you ever uh, have to duke it out with a raccoon up there or? <laughs> no not yet no. no you haven't found any animals up there yet or uh not live ones not live ones oh, yeah. okay. oh you could take them though yeah, yeah. no <laughs> no could, i yeah. leave them and right there how does that work though you you remove the animal or you guys get someone else no, to no i it? just i just take a picture of it so uh, here you, you just go. report there's, it yeah there's there's an animal uh, <laughs> you gotta take care of that that's it that's <laughs> it and what's what would you say is the strangest thing you've, you've found or you've observed or encountered within a home inspection uh just people's uh, property, belongings, their their personal items, mm-hmm. uh, all kinds. You know, some <laughs> some some people are collectors. Some, some stuff they forget <laughs> to put away in <laughs> yeah. the drawers. <laughs> uh, so all kinds. You know, so, uh, yeah. 
so it's it's always interesting uh, what uh and what's your, what's your routine when you when you look at a house what do you look at first what do you look at last what do you check the most uh starting with the roof the then the exterior of the house the windows all the the walls uh then in the basement the basement is kind of the heart of the home uh mm -hmm. the majority of the time is spent there with uh because you got your furnace your water heater your electrical the the foundation is a huge part of making sure that's that sound so yeah and then work my way up the up the house okay wicked claudia i think we have a question Yeah, for sure. Yeah, all of that. So, um, like, for example, for checking the roof, I have a drone. Uh, so whether it's raining, snowing, metal roof, which you can't climb on, I'm still able to, to inspect it. Right? Camilo so wants to know if he can fly the drone. <laughs> yeah, sure, I can. Uh, yeah. Does it we have multiple legs? Multiple what? Lives? Legs. Oh, legs. legs. <laughs> 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 I yeah. thought he was the talking about crashing. <laughs> <your mind>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that too. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not the best at doing uh -huh. things um, that other people are really good at. Oh, if okay. somebody's really well, good learn, at something, though. I can learn, but I wouldn't want to. Uh, I wouldn't want to ruin anything. Well, we'll, we'll take it to a nice we'll take open slow. field. And, uh, yeah, yeah, take, no yeah. poles, yeah. no <laughs> wires. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'll find something. No buildings. Yeah. <laughs> I'll find something. We've got to be very careful with me. Yeah. And uh, but yeah, I also have a thermal imaging camera to to scan the the foundation, the walls. We can't see behind walls. But with that, it helps us see the difference in temperature. If there's any water coming to the house, it will show up as a cooler area. So then I have a moisture meter to double check and, and check the level, just how much moisture is coming through. Gotcha. And then with all those things, um, kind of make a complete picture or as much as possible for the, for the client. So explain to Camilo and everyone else who's watching how how important it is to measure and find out if there's any moisture in the home and what it could cause so yeah let's start out with like what it does to the home and let's start with what it could do health wise for the whoever is residing there yeah so water is the number one worst enemy for for a home it it causes the most damage um and it, it can the repairs can get really really expensive um with the water coming in like it'll start uh, creeping in and the Another problem with water is they can spread r super easily, right? So uh, a leak that, that starts here, right? Like it'll just start destroying like the ceiling, right? Like mm -hmm. it'll start in one point, but then because it doesn't just penetrate the, the drywall right away, it stays on top, it starts just spreading and spreading and then destroys a lot of the, the property. And over time, it can even start to build up into mold. And that's a huge uh, health concern. So Camilo, do you take hot or cold showers? Well, it depends. Did I have a a, a good day at school? Oh, that's a <laughs> that's a that's a hot shower right there. That's that is, a yeah. well, a well deserved. And, uh, I I had a bad day at school. It's a cold shower. It's a just sitting there, just it's contemplating it's life. It's a cold shower. <laughs> <laughs> so when you do take a hot shower, the point is, well, I was trying to say, yeah. make sure you turn on the fan. Because if you don't turn on the fan, it can cause mold and that can cause, yeah. you know, other problems, other issues in the home. It's bad for your health, obviously, yeah. to, to, mm -hmm. to inhale mold as well. Yeah, whether it's water coming from outside in or moisture being built up from inside the house, uh, from like taking hot showers, from uh, even uh, when your clothes dryer, the, the, the outlet in yeah. the back, uh -huh. if that's disconnected or it's not plugged in properly, all that oh. is also moisture coming into your house. Mm -hmm. So it can start damaging everything inside the house too. Okay, wicked. We have a question from Nora the Explorer. Uh, what would you say is the number one thing homeowners should be aware of that can be missed? I mean, there's a lot. Um, what would you say is like the most common one where it's like, it's very common for someone to miss that? The electrical. The electrical, um, even inside the 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 panel, so that's that's a that's a sealed box. You got mm -hmm. a like a couple of screws, but like if you're going to see a house, you're not going to take a screw set with you, right? So uh, behind there, especially houses that have been renovated and like a finished basement, uh, one shortcut that is very common to take is not upgrading the panel. So uh, it gets filled up. Sometimes there's no more spots to put any more breakers. Mm -hmm. And so they start uh, uh, doubling up on the ones that are there. And then mm. because of that, it can start heating up and, mm. and causing wires to melt. Yeah, a fire. 
So so that's that's very easy to miss because you know you you see it all on the outside uh, you just see the 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 cover right but on the inside is where all the uh, other issues can be happening. And how many categories would you say uh, there is to a home inspection? How many categories like? Yeah, uh, nine. Okay, Camilo, we're gonna play a little game. How many of those nine you think you can mention? <laughs> to be honest, first off, you gotta get one. We answer. said like maybe two or three. The one that I start with. What would you check? What would you check? If you're, if you're inspecting a oh, home. Oh, nine things to check. Yeah. Um, nine main things, categories. Main things. Well, you've got to check the... Uh, the apple trees? The apple trees, of okay. course. Oh, well, that's the tenth. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so yeah, the other we'll, yeah. We'll, we'll <laughs> yeah. that one. Okay. Landscaping. That's, so, that's part of the exterior. Oh, that's one? Yeah. Landscaping is one? Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's one for nine. Yeah. Well, okay. like, exactly. Good start. If, Good start. There, if there's a, a creepy hole in your backyard and you okay. just don't touch it and there's like uh, something bad inside that's okay. not good if you have anything there it might hurt the soil so yeah landscaping um <laughs> there you go the roof um, the roof is too yeah because of all the water and on a more rare chance wouldn't like if electricity if lightning hit anywhere near and it did something to the roof you'd obviously have to instantly um get it fixed uh, yeah, it depends if it does any some damage, but the houses are built to just absorb it absorb. And, and put yeah. it into the ground. Um, there's the basement where you got to check the electricity. Electricity is three. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you've got to check uh, mold anywhere. Mold, mold um, inside. It's not uh, a category, but it's something. Now, th with mold, it's, it can get a little bit tricky because technically in order to classify something as mold, one, you got to be a mold certified inspector mm. and two it has to be confirmed by a lab so oh. like when i go into somebody's house like legally and and you know i can't say like that's mold mm. i can say like uh you know like i, I you should get this checked yeah that thing. looks or you know it resembles you know kind of like you know like wink wink mm -hmm. like but like you know i can't uh, even on the report like yeah. i can't say like yeah. that's mold because then say okay well like are you certified where's the, the lab test to say like that's mold that and what kind of mold because there's so many different types of mold Correct. some of them are harmful some of them are not so yeah. you know so there's so much so just to so it. understand even as a real estate agent there's certain things that i can suggest but i can't say yeah this is that or this is this mm -hmm. you know what i mean even mm -hmm. in our contracts it says look for the right advice from the right professional etc cetera, etc cetera, because we got to cover ourselves as well because at the end of the day we're not certified yeah. in those fields right yeah. i used to do renovations so i have a good idea too of maybe home inspections but leave it to the professional right and then if he finds mm -hmm. something that is not under his category he has to leave it to another professional etc mm. etc yeah and that's another um, good point to bring up like s sometimes that question that i get asked is or or some people might be like oh like like i don't believe in home inspectors i'll just hire like uh, the plumber and the electrician to yeah. go and, and check it but it's say like, okay so you need one specialist for each of those nine systems let's mm -hmm. say right mm -hmm. And then how much is a service call for each of those? So like basically, he has all the Infinity Stones. <laughs> Every single one of them. Oh. Except the mold one. He calls another guy for Yeah, because <laughs> somebody else has that, but damn. Yeah. yeah. That's why I said earlier, he can take on a raccoon. There you go. Yeah, he can yeah. easily. <laughs> yeah, easily. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends on size. Well, oh, talking. yeah, no. If it's one of those big fat ones, yeah. you run, you run. <laughs> You take the homeowner with you, and you just yeah. you get out. <laughs> Don't even. <laughs> Claudia, we have a question. Oscar, is, is it, has it always like been in your nature to just be anal about things, like you know, detailed about everything? <laughs> you know, have you always kind of wanted to be a home inspector? No. So my my background I, uh, is in the automotive industry. As a, I was an automotive mechanic or a technician, however you want to say it. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been working for Audi for a long time, but uh, I just uh, the passion for the automotive industry just ended um, for various reasons. Mm -hmm. So um, I was when I was looking for something else to do, uh, I was like, okay, well, like as a mechanic, day in day out is to like inspect cars, look for for issues, damages, and have to fix it. So I was like, like what other industry can I can I use that that skill? And then mm -hmm. when I came across home inspections, I was like, well, their job is to look for issues and 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 details and stuff, right? So I just got the training to like learn what to look for, and then the the how to look for it. I already already had it. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Yeah, there you go. And out of curiosity, Camila, what do you want to be when you grow up, or do you know yet? Well, I would like to be a uh, a film director. Uh, certainly not as much uh, skill as 
being a home inspector, but it's got different its different kind uh, of skill. Yeah, it's got for sure. its it's more of an artistic skill. Yeah. Exactly. Oh yeah, it's got lots of different things. I picture being a film director as having funds for your play box, and uh, yeah. That's so a good way to look at it. It seems it seems like a lot of fun, and if you mess up, your career is done. I I. I think I rhyme there. I'm not an expert at that either. As you can tell, <laughs> I'm not the best at many things. But yep. what I am good at, I succeed in. There you there go. There you go. That's Amen. awesome. And when you do need a home inspector, you know who to call. Oh, yeah. And you, yeah. when you need to purchase a home, you know who to call. <laughs> uh, Claudia, you have another question? Question for Camilo, actually. Um, so... Tell us about that monkey <laughs> in the Czech Republic. You were telling us earlier a little funny story, <laughs> and I would love for you okay. to tell the people. <laughs> before we get to that, before we get to that, what was the feedback from the last episode you were on? I don't know if you saw that episode, Oscar, but what was the feedback? What did you hear from the people? I thought a lot of people said, well, you know, that kiddo, that little uh, a little munchkin over there, he did a, he did a, <laughs> he did a fine job, and he used the word uh, majestic okay. multiple times. Uh, that's what I got from that. But overall, it was a very nice image of me, and my ego was <laughs> very nice. I your, felt ego was, was, your ego was massaged there a little bit. You, you took went home, took a nice uh, hot shower. Oh, hot shower, <laughs> yeah. Felt, felt good. Oh, but you got to leave the fan on. Exactly. Yeah, you got to leave the fan on. And you made some nice apple pie from the, mm -hmm. from the apples and just called it a day. I actually don't like Okay, that's a whole <laughs> different topic, and I'm not going to get into it because <laughs> maybe that positive outlook of me will slowly go down because okay, I'm we'll, we'll keep that for like yeah. the, the book like the documentary, the like documentary. When, you when you retire and like uh, everyone needs to know the truth and blah 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 yeah only the, tr only the true fans will know those kind of questions oh exactly. i've got i've got secrets and nobody <laughs> nobody will know there you go so uh, on his episode he said that you would travel to czech republic is that what you said Where, where's this monkey we're talking about okay so there is there is a statue of a really big monkey in the Czech Republic in a golf resort. Okay. Um, it's been there for quite a while now, and it was made by a very talented person. He was not rich, but he had enough money to make a part of this really majestic-looking monkey gold. Okay. And the part of it that was gold was the, was the balls. Oh, okay. He made a giant the monkey cojones. statue. With big, big, like maybe four soccer balls of gold balls. Okay. And they're really, really nice. <laughs> um, and I would personally love to see this monkey in its home. In and its this is because you like monkeys. Because you, you have a, you have a, like I a have fascination a, I for I have monkeys. a thing with monkeys. Um, Thailand has really nice monkey yep. places. But when you want to get away from the nature, maybe go to a nice resort, mm -hmm. maybe in the Czech Republic. Monkey balls. Monkey balls. Monkey balls. Czech Republic. Something to check out. Yeah. It's really if beautiful. If I happen to be around in the area. Oh, uh, yeah. It and <laughs> if anybody... If, I'll let you know. Yeah, <laughs> if anybody would like to see this really, really nice statue, you can see images of it on Google. Now, I know you'll, you might be scared to search this, but <laughs> King Kong Balls. Czech That's Republic. No, you don't, just King Kong Balls. Yeah? yeah. First thing that pops up? First thing that pops up is just... Oh. Do it in uh, incognito mode, just, uh, just in case... <laughs> no, no, there's nothing. There's nothing bad. It's just the statue. <laughs> Speaking about places around the world, Oscar, where are you from? Were you, you, you were born here or you were born, I was born in home? Ecuador? Ecuador. Yeah, Ecuador came here around nine years old. And uh, yeah, this, I haven't been back since uh, like 20 years though. Uh, my parents are retired. They have a home there, so they go back and forth. Mm -hmm. Not with everything that's going on. Mm -hmm. They've been stuck here for the winters, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm uh, I'm part Ecuadorian too. There you go. My father, yeah, mm -hmm. and his family, they're from Ecuador. And, so. what, and what's your other half? Uh, Colombian, yeah. You're a soccer uh, fan or no? Look, so the thing is, <laughs> I think soccer is an awesome sport. Mm -hmm. But? But me, <laughs> but me personally, I could not suck more at something. Yeah, but you can still watch it though and enjoy it. Yeah, I just don't understand. I, I'm not the greatest at hockey. Yeah, I, I'd say I I'm suck not, at hockey. I'm not I the like great. I'm not the greatest yeah. at sports. Period. That's fine I think though. the most fun one to watch is basketball because everybody's like screaming 
Ev- yeah, it's everybody. very fast paced. Yeah, everybody is just like they're so into it, and sometimes Drake just is kind of sitting in the background with his he, nice yeah. white jacket. Just chilling. no, and the funny thing is the camera is so spaced out, but you can see see him because of the clothes he's wearing. Of course, he just looks. <laughs> and he's just watching it and he's just there for uh, like two hours it, it's so funny but overall uh sports are something that i've never really been like oh my god yeah. the new game is gonna be in 30 minutes i gotta i gotta yeah, quit yeah. everything no more hot showers more about like when this movie coming out or something or like yeah no you should have you should have seen me when avengers endgame was gonna come out i was hitting the brakes to just Watching the trailer, just telling my friends, hey, you're going to watch it? Hey, men, you're going to watch it? You ever go and to like the pre-screenings? Uh, no, actually, I've never had the pleasure. Although, actually, on that note, I think I might have gone to one. There you go. Uh, it wasn't the best movie, but I did go. It wasn't to Logan Paul, was it? Oh, God, no. <laughs> I wouldn't even accept it. Would you like to see my movie before it comes out? No. <laughs> Logan Paul would have to pay you to watch this movie. He No, uh-uh. You're I ain't not, taking money. You wouldn't money. accept the check? No, just slowly, <laughs> slowly, Walt, Michael Jackson moonwalk out of there. That's it. No, also, no going more. back to you, so you're full Ecuadorian. Yeah. Do you consider yourself more gringo or more Latino? What would you say? Uh, I never thought about it, actually. But um, but the way I see it is, like, like I'm, I'm proud to be Ecuadorian and also proud to be Canadian. Um, because I've been living here so, uh, longer than Ecuador, mm-hmm. I would say I'm a little more Canadian than Ecuadorian. Mm-hmm. But I mean, you know, it's it depends how you look at it and stuff. But like the traditions, we we still keep the, the Ecuadorian traditions and and family and and. What's like an Ecuadorian like tradition that you you'll never forget? Like like something like a remedy, a home remedy, or like something like that. Oh, that's that's endless, man. Every day, like I can't like. With my mom, like I can't cough or sneeze around her because like <laughs> she would like right away come and be coming. She has like, like a soap already for uh, you. Yeah, or? <laughs> something, anything <laughs> depends what it is. And what 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 are the remedies? Like I'm sure you guys use vivaporu. Oh stuff yeah, like that. Uh, yeah, that's number Ecuadorians, one. Ecuadorians, uh, we talked about last time. The what is it? Malojo? What is it? The Ma- yeah, yeah, the egg and like you. What? Yeah, yeah, that's that's a little that's pretty hardcore. But like oh, yeah. the <laughs> you want to explain to do you want to know what it is? Uh, no, not I can't explain it really. Oh. But it's, <laughs> yeah, it's like, no. like it's. Something all to I, Google after. All yeah. I heard was all I heard was the egg, pretty hardcore. Yeah. It's uh, supposed to it's supposed to draw like the bad energy into the egg, so oh. like they rub it all around you oh. and stuff, and kind of like yeah. get all the impurities out and into the egg, and then they'll, they'll like crack it open. Depending on the color, they'll be like, "Oh my god, like oh. you're like possessed." Yeah. <laughs> I really, I really want to do that, uh, but no, I know Vipa Pudu, my Vipa grandma. Pudu? Yeah, my grandma's go. a nurse, and she, uh, yeah, whenever I have just the tiniest of coughs. The, uh, yeah, the <laughs> not even just, a cough. Yeah, not even yeah. a cough. She comes in, she it's puts on the glove, she gets the thing, and she says, "Honey, I'm gonna heal you," and she yeah. and she does. Even if it was barely a cough, maybe it would have evolved, but it did not because she just. There you go. She caught it before it could. Oh spit. yeah, no. Boom. One that my mom actually told me today was uh, like, if your throat is ever like itchy or like dry, honey. So like mm. uh, a, a tablespoon of honey, and you just like 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 put the honey in your mouth and just let it slide back mm-hmm. slowly and then that like is super soothing you ever had a uh, wet panela you ever tried that panela yeah it's yeah we do we drink it a lot in colombia have you had wet panela mm-hmm. you need to try it it's really good ah, I see. it's basically like a like a caramel if i'm not describing it wrong um and they boil it and it and you just drink it and it's kind of like a tea but it's very sweet Cause like it's like caramel, uh-huh. right? But it's really it's re- the natives back home used to drink it a lot. They still drink it a lot, obviously. Uh-huh. And it, it gives you like you know obviously natural sugar is good energy and helps. Uh, it's really good for your throat as well. Oh, hmm. there yeah. you go. Something guys like. So Oscar, thank you so much for staying uh, staying for coming to our show today. <laughs> Anything you want to tell the audience? Where to contact you? How to find you? Um, any home inspection tips you want to share quickly? Whatever you want to. Uh tell them. yeah. So like I'm. I'm on Instagram. That's the 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 main channel that that I post a lot of videos and stuff. And in terms of tips and uh, recommendations, I that's where you can find them. Uh, if you have questions that you come up, just ask on there. Uh, I always reply. And uh, and even uh, something that's kind of strange is in the industry, it's it's very like closed off. Like 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 even I remember when I wanted to start as a home inspector, reaching out to other inspectors, they weren't really very helpful. So. Um, 
you know like i've had other inspectors that want to get into the industry ask mm -hmm. me and i'm more than happy to to ask i've even like have like other information set up that can kind of get started mm -hmm. so but yeah that's the that's the main main way you can contact me and then my phone number email is all on there so you can go from there perfect camilo any final thoughts words concerns questions yeah uh, i think it's really cool what you do and i'll definitely check out the instagram because I'm not smart, and you are. <laughs> so. No, you're smart too, brother. Well, yeah, for sure. <laughs> we got smart. a lot of drone videos on there, so you oh, can. Oh yeah, okay, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's a date. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, we'll be right back after this break with uh, Magic Skate, Magic Skies, Skies. No tanto sufrimiento. Ahora solo pienso en el dinero. Por eso yo no creo en el amor. Termino siempre con dolor. Estando solo soy mejor. Estando solo soy mejor. Contigo siempre estoy peor. Ya no extraño tu calor. I, I gave you all I had, but you stabbed me in the back. So tell me what you want from me. You say that you miss me, but you kiss me and then leave me. So tell me. No tanto sufrimiento. Ahora solo pienso en el dinero. Siempre con dolor, estando solo soy mejor Estando solo soy mejor, contigo siempre estoy peor Ya no extraño tu calor I, I gave you all I had, but you stabbed me in the back So tell me what you want from me No, tanto sufrimiento, ahora solo pienso en el dinero Por eso yo no creo en el amor, termino siempre con dolor Estando solo soy mejor Estando solo soy mejor Contigo siempre estoy peor Ya no extraño tu calor I, I gave you all I had But you stabbed me in the back So tell me what you want from me You say that you miss me But you kiss me and then leave me So tell me what you want from me Want No tanto sufrimiento Ahora solo pienso en el dinero Siempre con dolor, estando solo soy mejor Estando solo soy mejor, contigo siempre estoy peor Ya no extraño tu calor I, I gave you all I had, but you stabbed me in the back So tell me what you want from me You say that you miss me, but you kiss me and then leave me So tell me what you want from me Want No, tanto sufrimiento And we're back with my co-host again, Camilo. What did you think of that first segment, uh, Camilo? I thought it was awesome. Yeah, we learned a lot of interesting facts that need to be known. From 1 to 10, how majestic would you consider it? Now, I can't answer that question because, honestly, I think it was more than 10. There you go. Yeah. 11.5, we'll go with 11.5. We're back with uh, Magic Say Skies and Diana. How are you guys? Good, good. How are good, you? actually. Good, good. Thank let you for having us here. No problem. Let me know. Uh, let me know in the chat what you guys thought of that little clip. That's a video. I don't think you saw it yet, but uh, it's a video they're coming out with on Friday. It's called "Want for Me." So hope you guys check that out. Um, do you have any questions? Uh, yeah, I can ask one. Uh, so, what do you guys exactly uh, do? <laughs> uh, I, I, love I, this. I heard uh, I absolutely I heard love the this. music so uh, yeah I, I saw some little clips of it and instantly I was just hooked uh, it looks really good awesome well I think uh, magic I actually really want to know what you do bro <laughs> <laughs> I actually <Magic> really <laughs> so how do you get it so inspired bro I rap and basically I'm starting to sing and do stuff like that both English and Spanish so I would say kind of rapping is where my forte is right now I'm glad you started with Magic, because I want, and now that I remember, I wanted Magic to talk about King of the Dot and how you started rapping, and okay. why and why we call you Encyclopedia. Okay. <laughs> All okay. jokes aside. All jokes aside. <laughs> but let's go back to Little Magic Damn. and the story you told us with your pops about uh, encyclopedias. Okay, so long story short, basically we just like at the community center we got donated we got donated by the community center like some encyclopedias. And I would just always kind of like whenever I wanted to know something, I would ask my dad. But instead of him telling me, 
what things were. Basically, probably he probably didn't even know all the questions <laughs> I was asking him. So he Jokes just on you. yeah, he, he showed me tech, just how to use an encyclopedia from when I was like eight. But the old ones they used to come like maybe like ten to yeah, twelve different books, and yeah, and eventually when I so going back to the battle rap, like. I'm like I'm 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 from '91, so when I was like in high school, we were still kind of influenced by like the late '90s, early 2000s, and that was very much like battle oriented and and like heavy lyricism. So, I kind of was aspiring to be a battle rapper, and eventually the encyclopedia stuff and all that knowledge kind of helped me write different verses and 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 kind of creative ways of of battle rapping people. <laughs> there you go. And then when did you start King of the Dot? So King of the Dot basically, so when I started, King of the Dot was really small. Like right now, it's the biggest battle rap league in the world. It's it's incredible the numbers they're doing and everything. They actually had an event right now over the weekend in Los Angeles. But back in the day, it was like in bars on Queen Street. And it was just... Very grungy. Kind yeah, of, yeah. Know, it was like a grungy like, old... Eight mile? It was honestly very mile? much like 8 Mile. like just like that. that exact scene, like uh, that dungeon vibe. Like a lot of places just like that low lighting, a bunch of people... But we, but everything was filmed, right? Because now it would go on YouTube eventually. So yeah, like King of the Dot, they used to have something that was called Prove Yourself. So it was kind of like an introduction. So you just like it says, prove yourself, and you'd go and you and if you and if the people liked you, then they'd actually bring you on to King of the Dot. So there you go, that's wicked. Exactly. So guys, what about you? What's your background? Where do you come from? Where do you reside? Where did you reside? How have you been? That's a lot of questions in one question, <laughs> brother. <laughs> let me tell you. Each one of those uh, questions has like a half an hour guys. answer. But let me give you a quick overview. Okay. I'm actually from the beautiful tropical country of Belize. I'm not too sure if you've heard about Belize. And where is that? Do you know where that is, Camilo? No, tell Camilo where that is. It's in the center of the equator. Yeah. But where exactly? Where well, not really. Ecuador is, you know, in the center. But <laughs> I was about to say, I <laughs> it. Remember, I'm Mr. Encyclopedia here. Jo- Jonah. He's going to pull out his encyclopedia. Jonah right was now. about to get upset. He was about to st- stop the Bro, stream. Bro, I'm telling you, fam, we're still in the center. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, as I was saying, I come from Belize in a beautiful, small little town called Dangriga. Very obscure um, little town. But uh, it's actually the cultural capital of Belize okay. uh, for the, all the music and dancing that goes on there from Monday to Monday. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's an amazing that's schedule. It's crazy, bro. It parties every night. It's, yeah, you know. There you go. There Chop you a go. coconut, you know. And Chop a coconut, drink a coconut. Drink a coconut, coconut, coconut. mix it with the Lee rum. <laughs> yeah, done set, fam. Coconut <laughs> water and rum, is that a thing or no? I don't know. We can make uh, it honestly, I didn't drink till I was eighteen. Me, <laughs> no, yeah. but I didn't drink till I was eighteen, and I, you know, came to Canada when I was seventeen years old. So oh, amazing okay, segue. Baby. Yeah. So I left Belize to pursue music um, more seriously and professionally when I was seventeen years old. Mm-hmm. Um, it was quite a shift, quite a change. Uh, I'm not too sure if you know Winnipeg. Yes. You yeah. Do. You know Winnipeg. That was Winnipeg. No. Now. Okay. Now you don't know Winnipeg. <laughs> How come you lower Winnipeg? Well, let me tell you something. <laughs> Imagine yourself. Back in my day. <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you something. Let me tell you something right now. Let me tell you whipper something here, Sonny. A whippersnapper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a child. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, let me teach you something. Do you know what it feels like to live in a place for 17 years of your life? Actually, you don't. Never mind. Kay. I'm not. I'm what are you, 12? <laughs> he just told you he's a child. I'm 13. <laughs> 13. I almost got it, bro. I Pretty haven't good. lived life. No, no, you have lived life. That's true. I yeah. was on this podcast. Let me tell you, not a lot of 13, <laughs> not 13 years old, 13 year olds make it to this uh, beautiful mm-hmm. talk show, you know? Oh, yeah. So you should feel privileged. Yeah. But, anyways, yeah, Winnipeg. Um, do you know anybody from Winnipeg? He doesn't even know where to pick it. So not at all. It's in the center of the equator. I mean, no. We got another center. No, it's in the center of Canada. Oh, my gosh. No, serious. Winnipeg is literally in the dead center of Canada. It's in the middle of nowhere. Quite literally in the middle of nowhere. So um, let me just tell you very briefly. It uh, snows for nine months a year. In a year, yeah. Ooh. It's crazy. You gotta, plug in your cars. you gotta plug in your cars because after like minus 30 or something, um, if you don't plug in your car overnight, it will not start up in the morning. Therefore, you get fired because uh, you know, oh. you're late. Mm. <laughs> or you hit up an Uber, whatever. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no. So I was there for three years, man. And uh, I got enough of that cold, 
Richard, life. Thank you. I, I love Winnipeg. You guys are amazing. Taught me a lot of things, especially how to wear parkas. You know, I, I learned a lot from Winnipeg. What's a parkas? <laughs> <laughs> a parkas. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, let me tell you. A parka is a thick winter coat that you put on so you don't die. Yeah. So after a certain temperature, you need to wear those kind of jackets. Yeah. And after they, and they go 30. down like past the yeah. knee usually. They go down Way past down the past the knee. Past the knee. So, they, so he would know everything about a parka, obviously. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on to Diana. How are you, Diana? I'm good. How are you? Good, thank you. So who is Diana Los Angeles? And the people want to know, are you actually from Los Angeles? No, actually, De Los Angeles is my middle name. So I go by my first name, Diana. And then, honestly, I didn't want to create an artist name. I didn't have time for that, so I'm just I just put Diana de Los Angeles. Um, I'm an artist, yeah, singer and rapper. Um, I just started like a year ago. Mm-hmm. Actually, I really got into it a year ago, and um, my background is the Nicaragua, and I was born in Miami, not Los Angeles. A lot of people are like, "Oh, you're from Los Angeles?" No, <laughs> not that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. There you have it, folks. She is not from Los Angeles, in case you're wondering. So you were born in Miami, you said? Miami, yeah. And how long did you live there? Um, so I, uh, I was kind of like, basically, Canada is my second home. Like, I came here maybe like when I was three. So I didn't really get to know my, you know, my they city. They didn't ask you if no, you wanted to leave or not. They just, yeah, I just kind of came. They didn't, and then they didn't ask you. <laughs> they didn't get your permission. <laughs> yeah. They didn't get your consent to leave. <laughs> no. <Miami>. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I didn't have an option, you know. Yeah. Um, like yeah. So, uh, I think at like the age of 12, I went back and that's where I got to know my city and, you know, did I just go back and forth now. There oh, you go. You went back to Miami when you were 12? Yeah. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. Claudia, we have a question? Yeah, we have a question from the chat from Supra, Supram KIV95. Question for Magic. Any other genres you would like to do? Other than rapper hip hop. Rapper hip hop. Like, like Mbajinancito. Mm. <laughs> I could like see you doing a ranchero, bro. <laughs> <Not> ranchero. <laughs> to be honest with you, like, I've been getting into el regga- like reggaeton y eso, pero. It's funny that you said that because una, una ranchera, un corrido, un vallenato, I would actually love to get into that. That would be dope. So, really so magic is rap and hip hop for the most part. Yeah. Skies, what genres are you? Um, I'm mostly pop, um, but I'm also a little bit of R and B and Latin. There you go. And Diana, yourself? Um, I do a little bit of everything. I'd say I'm more like um R and B, dancehall, reggaeton, trap, around there. There you go. So not reggaeton, reggaeton. Reggaeton. There yeah. you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's urban style. You and know? let's let's talk about this release on Friday, guys. Who who wants to take the mic away on this? What, what's going on Friday? What's happening Friday? Friday, we all take the mic. Uh, you know, yes. October 15th, Friday, one from me, music video coming out, you know. Oh, I'm so excited for this one, yo. Yeah, where Honestly, I, yeah, it's I, the first time I experimented with like a hip hop kind of feel to a track, so... I'm really excited to see, you know, how people take this. Me too, and especially, you know, like with, like with D on it, all of us it has a good mix, you know, like it's. it's oh it's my gosh, a, when D comes show. in in the verse, no, you're not ready. Everyone's always, everyone's <laughs> always. No, you're not when ready. D comes on the chat, everyone's always like, <laughs> yo, yo, what? You see, you see Diana all tranquilita, yeah. calm, you don't, expect, you don't, you don't yeah. expect that, you know. And then on the verse, you just bro, just snaps. Yeah, she Hulk <laughs> snaps. <laughs> Just like that, yeah. Level the up. Music video is wild too. Like, oh yeah. yeah. We showed them the. What, what did you show them? The twenty second. We snippet? showed them uh, from the part where uh, the red. Oh. Okay. And then uh, up to I can't remember actually. There's just too much in it. Yeah, like, there's a lot just, going. Oh, up to you in the hallway. Oh, okay. Nah, the people are gonna love it. People are gonna love it. Yeah. All so of us, all of us have some good scenes in that. So me and Claudia were talking about it, and Claudia mentioned that it has like an LA vibe. Claudia, you want to ex- expand on that? Yeah, no, we were talking about um, how it's got, like, a West Coast vibe to it. So how did that come about? A West Coast vibe? Yeah, I does. could see that. Definitely kind of, like, maybe, like, a little bit of a, a G-Funk that, like, feel with the right. bass line. You exactly. know, that bass line. So basically, that's uh, a producer that I work out with. Um, he's from the United States. His name's Donato. And uh, he's super talented. And basically just, he, uh, you know, we have communication. He sends me beats. And what really got me onto that beat was the bass line like it's so what you're saying it was it was just it has a lot of like feeling to it and uh, when we all got together we went to the studio i had like a bunch of beats and as soon as i played that beat like we have that kind of like that look everyone just looked at each other yeah i had like four bars like pre-written to it 
I kind of showed them like my idea to where like the track we can go. Everybody had their opinions on what we should all do, and then we we made a magic. Like so, yeah. so other than that, <laughs> made <a> magic, you know, <laughs> made <a> magic, you <laughs> know. So other than that, guys, let's explain to Camilo in the audience how a song is made. So from magic getting the beat, he got it first, so he wrote a little something to it. Explain like the studio process, the hook, the harmonies, the chorus. I think there's. Like, there's a few ways to write a song, obviously. It's kind of like when you're making, a, a, you know, a dish. Like, sometimes you can mix some of the wet and dry ingredients together. And, you know, some... Some people like jerk chicken really spicy. Some people like jerk with some a little spicy, some people not, you know. So, for this one, it's, uh, it's uh, specifically, um, it was very new, the structure that we went about, because the beat was already created. Now the beat actually had the structure, uh, the structure and the foundation already, mm -hmm. which is beautiful because um, it's it's really hard to write to something that doesn't have a structure um, set in place. But your producer is professional, I could tell, yeah, he did and it. he, he did. had he the proper it. cuts and the proper foundations to it. So when uh, Magic wrote his verses, right, and uh, I think you wrote pre-chorus too, kinda. Yeah, right? I did like a little pre-chorus thing, and then. Man, I, like that's that at that moment. I wish I, I was talking to Andres the other day. I wish we got it on camera. It was like, oh yeah. I came out of the booth, and we were listening back, and then he you just started harmonizing. This guy just started harmonizing, yeah. making a melody in his <coughs> mind, and it was one from so, me, but he was just kind of harmonizing that little melody. And then so I was like, repeat that, repeat that. Three magical things happened that day. <laughs> I felt like <laughs> too I was many on, things. Yeah, I felt like I was on like a like a movie. To be honest, when I was in the studio with him, because. Magic goes in. No, did you go in first? You started first. Yeah, I right? went in first. Yeah, he went in the booth first, and this guy. I've never heard this guy sing. He started singing out of nowhere. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, that. Yeah. I mean, guys just look at each other like, like, okay, yeah, this is dope, yo. I was kind of looking at Skies for his approval, like as the singer, right? It's kind of like if Skies tried to rap and Magic is like, yo, I was, I was yes. nervous too. I was like, yo, I'm, I'm starting to sing. It's one of my first times doing this, and Skies is here. If, 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 if Skies tries uh, to rap, if Skies has tries to rap, like if you're on a song together, you're like a soccer team, picture like that, right? And it's like one guy's trying to play the goalie and he's the defender. You know what I mean? Yeah. You got to get the approval from the team, right? So it's like Diana being like, is, is Skies really rapping? So that's kind of like Magic kind of singing. Hmm. Magic comes out of the booth and Sky's just like, hmm, 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 Exactly. Hmm, that was it. One, he was it. One from me. I was like, keep doing that, keep doing that. And one, we, and we started making the, the lyrics and we got that. And the third magical thing was this quiet one over here, Diana, goes into the booth, <laughs> one take. One yeah. take, music. one that take, okay. and, I'm and, 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 and she was, and the, and the whole, like the whole time we're like working on the thing, everything. You, you were in the corner, and you were just on your phone. I she literally, was on her phone. I literally wrote it in like two minutes. Yeah, you were just there yeah, on your phone, and you were quiet. I was gonna write in English, but I wasn't feeling the vibe. Nah, so the, Spanish, like, nah the, the Spanish, Spanish killed it. The Spanish killed. So has the Spanglish feel, English and and in Spanish. Yeah. You have any questions for them so far? This sounds uh, this sounds amazing. I feel like when I watch it, my ears will just go to another reality. I mean, wow. Hey, that's that's that's, yeah. that's that's the way. So you guys, you guys all made it together, and uh, yeah, it's like your your project. And uh, have you guys worked before together? No, it was oh, the first I time. Know, first well, time. Magic, you wanted to work with Diana, and then you guys talked to so each other, <laughs> saying, "I don't know the story, but you know, now that yeah, we're here." So basically, like, yeah, so so. Andres came to me and he's like, oh, I have this dope artist like, that, I'm, that I know and I think it would be like dope for you guys to maybe do something. He showed me like some of your tracks and right away I was like, yeah, I'm down. And they came through, to, we worked, we started doing some stuff and we started thinking about like what type of track should we do? And when we came to, with the idea of like some type of track, like kind of like a love track and have the perspective of a guy and a girl, we were like, we should get a singer on this. And you had came out with your track with, uh, with Melly Queen. Melly Queen, yeah, yeah. So right away like just because the track had been fresh out you were the first but i was like yo do you know skies like because we ha we hadn't even really talked or met at that How did time you even through on this did you yeah because i know melly queen and then through andres and stuff so i would see the promotions and stuff so i oh, knew right, of right, you right. and then and then i saw your instagram and i asked him like you do you know skies maybe you can get him on he was like yeah i could ask him and you were down. <laughs> you know, you said you were down, and then look what happened. You well, know, let so. me tell you the real, real story of how this happened. <laughs> the skies version. <laughs> okay, the skies, the skies. Like, this is perspective. Th bro, this is, has <laughs> never been disclosed till now, so I will disclose it. So, Andres comes up, he's like, Yo, um, how do you feel about singing in a track with two rappers? And I was like, Oh, I've never done a track with two rappers before. 
I've only done singing. Only singers. done singing. And the reason I said that is because nowadays, like, rap is, is the new pop. Of course. Like, me and Miguel talked about this many times. We're yeah. Like, now, like, you see these hip-hop rappers in, like, these poppy songs, if you really think about it, with Bieber singing on it or whoever singing on it. It's, like, a, it's a very cool combination. But sorry, yes, go on. Yeah. So, in that moment, I was like, you know, this is a, a different direction. But, bro, I felt something inside of me. I was like, you know. What are the possibilities? I just like, try it. What are the possibilities? Because there's something here that's guiding me, and I think I should take it. And I was very hesitant, very because okay. I just finished. I just finished a track with Melly Queen, and it was like a, you know, all this stuff. And it took six months. It took yeah. six long months. I was like, am I ready for another six months? <laughs> it, but it doesn't another happen. pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> another, yeah, for real, another baby. <laughs> Another baby song. A little project. <laughs> it doesn't have to take six months. For, and you know what? So interesting. This one literally was the direct opposite. Oh, it was so it opposite, flowed, man. It flowed, it flowed, it flowed. And Andres was like, yo, just come down to the studio. Let's see what happens. I was still like unsure. And coincidentally, <laughs> you live right close to the studio yeah, that I work at. Is, yeah, that's Mike DB Studios was the place that we went to record it at. Yeah. Fire spot. Shout out just, to Mike. Yeah, He's shout crazy, out to bro. Mike, He's man. Crazy. Right. That, that, and that was another person that helped with the vibe. You know, they're the sound engineer, Mike DB, man. Oh, like man. we were all able to work together because that's mad important too when you're creating the music, having that right you sound have engineer. To have you the know, right sound engineer, bro, and producer. Yeah. You know, to, but yeah. Anyways, I got to the studio. And then I see you there with your bottle of Henny. And I was like, I don't <laughs> always, know this. Always. What kind of vibe this on I'm being? So, <laughs> so sometimes, Camilo, uh, people need certain inspirations, right? To find their <laughs> creative flow, which is fine. As long as it's not, you know, uh, taken to a whole too much. Too much. You know? Anything too much is bad. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Right? So I want, or I'm sure everybody wants the Diana perspective. What was, what was Diana? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Was you were very quiet. Diana like, <laughs> always serious. quiet. She was like quiet. I, I, I felt like she didn't like me, bro. <laughs> Diana, uh, now everyone, I want to hear from your nah, mom. Everyone always thinks, um, I guess, the way I look. Um, but nah. Honestly, I w I'm down for anything. I'm always down. I'm super chill. That's true. She was down for Looking the forward. Yeah. Anything, I'm down. Diana's swag that day was funny, too. It was sick. It was a... Uh, the the ray, was it ray bands the black ray bands like the black like you have them on you uh, oh i yeah, thought you had uh, them on you <laughs> tom ford yeah. she was just yeah. quiet Bye, sitting on the quiet chair with the glasses i bro i i thought that i was disturbing her you know <laughs> when, don't I look at her too much her, I, I go, are you okay did i do something wrong <laughs> like can i get you some water and when she goes into the booth she just <laughs> and it's so funny because guys is like it, like complete opposite hyper like in your face <laughs> diana's there just i gave a little bit of that heady <laughs> 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 a little too you much this guy introduced <laughs> me to uh, uh, my and new then friend. magic is like in between yeah i was hyper just vibing just vibing i love it bro i love yeah, it you know magic <laughs> there you go camila any more questions so far or? Very good at descriptions. I, I feel like I've known you forever. You guys are really good. Yeah. Well, you're surviving. You feel like you caught like a like a vibe. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. Sick. Perfect. Claudia, we have a question. Yeah. So for Skies, with your style of music, um, obviously you're from Belize. Um, is there like a Belizean influence in your music? Is that how you say it? Belizean. 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 Oh my God, my bad. Yeah. Is there like a Belizean influence in your style of music? Hmm. Yes, I can 100% there's an influence, um, but it's very, uh, it's very um, Jamaican oriented because the, the, just the culture in Belize has a lot of uh, the similar kind of vibe to Jamaica. So, um, you know, uh, the reggae is very like uh, prominent in Belize. They play a lot of reggae music, yeah, Bob Marley especially. So... Um, there's a song called Same Way. Uh, it's uh, the demo is out now, but this is a this is a, um, a bit of a disclaimer. The <laughs> official one is gonna come out after the Sky's EP, and okay. that song has my like the most like amount of my roots of Belize in that song. Uh, there's a lot of dance hall reggae vibe in, in 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 that song. So yes, I'm definitely influenced by um, my Belizean culture. We're gonna hear. Are we gonna hear a Sky's reggae track, bro? It's oh, coming, okay. <laughs> it's okay. coming. Yo, you're can not can even you tell? Good. Can you tell Sky's from Toronto or no? Uh, you know, you <laughs> can tell. He's got that. Uh, Claudia, we have another question. Yeah, I was gonna say. Um, so, do you speak? Because I know in Belize they speak like three languages, right? So, do you do you speak 
English, you your Spanish, and Creole. <laughs> you have done your research, first of all. I've I been there, actually. Oh, you yes, have been. Have. What? <laughs> okay, that's first, traveler. Girl. Listen, I'm a world, I have I'm a question. world class traveler. <laughs> now, I have a question for you. Was it in a cruise? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. But, <laughs> but I actually drove to the border, Mexican Belizean border mm -hmm. as well. So okay, okay. <laughs> so I was at the border too. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. I will. You know, I'll let you know that um, almost ninety percent of the people that tell me they've been to Belize. I ask cruise. them, have you been on, a cru on the it was then on the cruise? And like, yeah, I was on the cruise. I'm like, that is Belize, but come and check out what we have inside the land. Oh, bro, it's yeah. another experience. You buy tacos on the side, people chop up coconut, chop up leaf fish, and they fry it from the can. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> telling you. It's a, a little bit of everything? A little bit of everything. No? <laughs> they, they serve your rum right on the street. Hey, the you want to drink with me? Take a shot. <laughs> It's Cam the island boy vibe. Camila, would you go to Belize or no? Oh yeah, it sounds like a fun <laughs> night. Unfortunately, but Belize, is, Belize is mad small, no? Maybe that's is that's why. Mad why, small. Yeah. That's why why it's not so known. So that's why it's a. Belize it's like a is the only. Stop. Hey, this is the geographical lesson for you guys. Belize is the only country in Central America that's mainly English. All the other countries mm. around Belize is Spanish, uh, Honduras, uh, Guatemala, Mexico. Um, they're all Spanish, you know. Um, it's mostly had to do because, uh, you know, the British, uh, they came okay. there in like the 1800s kind of thing. And they kind of had a settlement there. And um, that's why we have the queen on our dollar bill, you know. Okay. <laughs> so it's yeah. an English empire type yeah, thing. Yeah, exactly. We're a colony. A colony. So. Any questions for Dana? Yeah, so uh, you seem to be very uh, calm and collected. And then <laughs> when you get into the booth, then you just, you know, you get into your... Uh, yeah. Exactly. Your, uh, your My zone. Yeah, your zone. So yeah. how does it, like, uh, feel to just completely let out in the booth and just... Um, honestly, it's amazing because all my thoughts and everything come out and I can just write it in a song and um, share those experiences and what people go through. Um, I'm usually shy. I've always been shy. Like, right now, I'm kind of, <laughs> you know, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> but, but nah, um, that's pretty much it, yeah. Yeah. No, I think, yeah, as I said, you guys have been very, very good at uh, informing me of your music <laughs> yeah. and the way you brought it together. You guys are awesome. I'm actually really curious about one thing, Diana. Um, what what do you th what would you attribute your like inspiration to? Because uh, like I, like we've all noticed you're very like quiet around like when we're talking and stuff, but when you're in the booth, you just like let out like this. There's something about you like a una tigresa comes out, you know, <laughs> like like a lion or something. Yeah. I don't know. A roar. It just comes out, right? It's a totally different Diana. And um, what do you think inspires you to become that way or to write the lyrics that you write? Like, what is it about you that makes you write the music you write? Um. Well, first, I'm not good at um, expressing my feelings and emotions. So all that goes into the booth. Into the lyrics. When I'm into the lyrics, yes. when I'm singing, rapping, that's uh, I let everything out there. Mm. What I can't wow. say in person or anything, yeah. it's everything is in the booth. That's that really is powerful. authentic. Yeah. I feel like that's like uh, a lot of artists, especially when it comes to rap, like that's sometimes like... That's your expression. That's your diary. Yeah. You know, like yeah, she, exactly, exactly what she said is powerful. Like what you can't say to others, sometimes you'll mask it in certain lines in your lyrics. You know, you might not say it directly, but you'll de yeah. definitely express yourself. Wicked. Claudia, we have another question. I was just going to say, Diana, you're quiet, but you're a killer. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Silence killer. Uh, 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 thank you. Listen, I love quiet people because I'm actually quiet myself, too. And, you know, we're, we're smart. Like people, you know, you know, yeah. we're smart. <laughs> but uh yeah that that's all i wanted to say she's quiet so no but what i want to ask you is actually what art artists influence you do you have any artists that you or any style that influences you yes so um daleks uh rao alejandro mike towers mikey woods bad bunny they all inspired me to like that f i don't know i have kind of like my own flow i don't really like to imitate imitate yeah so everything just comes out authentic. i like uh, yeah exactly okay what about you guys who, who influences you other than myself <laughs> i was about to say bro you're the only person <laughs> <laughs> the only one the only one <laughs> El gringo i love latino. you andres <laughs> <laughs> mero mero gringo latino <laughs> 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 
Uh, real talk, though, uh, I'm going to be very, very, very vulnerable and honest with you guys right now. But I started, uh, my, my music was mostly influenced um, by the church. When I was 12 years old, it was the very first time I did anything that was music related. And they asked me if I wanted to learn drums. Um, and the pastor's son taught me how to play drums. He gave me like a 15 minute you know, session. And, um, and then that was it. Then he's like, yeah, you can go learn on your own now. So what I did was I just started playing music, you know, worship music in, in my, you know, in my quiet time. And I would just start drumming and stuff. Um, that's honestly where I get a lot of kind of like my inspiration from. And uh, honestly, I would, I would attribute that to the connection that I have um, with God. Amen. You know? So he, he is my inspiration. And I feel like there's a million and one ways to to share that and uh, I love sharing that through love whether that be through heartbreak or whether that be through finding love in a romantic relationship or whether that just be down in the dumps and you don't understand why you just express that you know and it doesn't have to look religious but it, it just has to look authentic it just has to look real there because that's what we're connected to is just what is the human experience you know and this is my experience I just want people to know that they're not alone because sometimes we all feel alone, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but we don't know that we all are in this together. And that is the essence of my music is I want people to know you're not the only person that's going through that. I'm going through that too. And I want you to sing with me and maybe we can heal together. Wow. For real. That's, that's strong. amazing. Yeah, that's strong. That's really deep. That is deep. Yeah. Sorry real. to put that pressure on your magic. I was about to but, say, uh, now nah, I have to go after <laughs> that. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know what that just reminded me of? <laughs> and it's not to make fun of it. It's just a, a similar situation. <laughs> I was at my buddy's wedding, and I don't know why. For a he wanted us to do a speech, me and my buddy, my best friend. <laughs> still my best friend to this day. And I just went off. Like, I just felt super inspired. I, I don't know if it was the tequila shots it just, or what it, it was, but I off. felt like, Camilo, I just felt like a poet up there, like. With similar moments to what Sky just shared with us, right? And he just goes on the mic after, and he's like, I, I don't know how I'm going to top that, but uh, <laughs> congratulations. Congratulations, guys. <laughs> congratulations, man. Uh, uh, have a good know, that's how I feel right now. Like, you know, I'm inspired <laughs> by things, you know, thank you. I, li I like stuff. <laughs> yeah, inspiration-wise, like, right now, musically, like, I feel just anything. I, it's 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 hard to I, I don't know explain like I could um I could watch like a movie and if I catch mm. a certain vibe from the movie yes. like from a certain character I'll just get inspired and 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 I'll like write uh I'll write a song in in kind of like the point of view of that character I think it was because like, when I was younger I saw like um my boy was really into Tupac and he had the diary like they they I remember they took they, they like released a copy of his diary and in his diary he I, I remember he wrote that like for him to write music, he would imagine a music video to the instrumental, like create mm. a movie in his mind and then write the song to the movie that he created. We're giving out too much tips here. Yo, I'm, hey, yo, <laughs> hey, it's out there. It's out there if you can find it. Encyclopedia like thing. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so that's how I kind of catch a vibe like that. But when it comes to like musically, I would say Big Pun and Snoop Dogg. Like Big Pun and Snoop Wicked. Dogg, those two... Because my, my, the old me was very, like, battle rap oriented, like, Wu-Tang, big pun style, like, just, like, going for heads. And now I'm more like Snoop Dogg. I'm more about, like, style, clothes, money, having a good time, you know? Mm -hmm. Catching a vibe. vibe. Exactly. It's catching yeah. a vibe, you know, having a good time. Wicked. Camilo, any final questions for the group or individually? Uh, yeah. What would you say is your favorite part of uh, just doing what you do? I mean, you've all expressed, like, really amazing things about uh, what you do, but... In the end, for if someone if someone were to ask you why do you keep going with this, uh, what do you have to say to them? I don't know who wants to go first, but damn. I think Diana should go first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> um, honestly, it's kind of like a safe haven to me, just um, making music. So for that, me, it's the only thing that, like, hel helps me, like, when I'm going through something, it's the only way for me to escape reality. Mm -hmm. so. For me, it's just, 
Yes, it's on a similar vibe, but I yeah, like it's just expressing yourself musically. But for me, I guess there's kind of like two things. Uh, there's a certain like there's a certain magic when you're in the pocket of writing a song. Like there's a certain vibe when you're like when when the lyrics are just flowing and the and the instrumentals playing and you're just catching this vibe and and like just. You, it's hard to explain how things happen, but lyrics just start coming out and you're creating a banger. And then when you record that and you hear it back for the first time, mm -hmm. there's just a certain magic in that. And okay. that's what you want to give to other people, right? That first, that, that, like when they hear your track for the first time, like that wow factor. And that's why you should listen to magic. <laughs> magic <laughs> says. Catch the magic, yo. You know? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Skies, same question for you. You know, I just want to say... I really like that question. That's probably the toughest yeah, was a question, good question for anybody to answer. And it's always the toughest question. And that wasn't scripted. That was him just coming up with yeah, it. I was no, on the spot. No. That was on the spot. Yes. Boom. You're, you're fired up, bro. So what makes me keep on doing what I'm doing with music? The, the biggest reason. I would honestly say because I honestly feel like I would... I would have given up on myself by now if I didn't keep on writing. Like, mm -hmm. I remember the lowest points in my life. If I didn't write a song, I would have probably pieced out of this life. Mm -hmm. I would have been not here. And I didn't want to be here anymore. But when something told me, you need to write that down because somebody else is going through the same thing, I said, and that's the reason why I do what I do. Because I need to heal just as much as somebody else needs to heal right now. That's why I keep on going. Amen. For real. This guy's just answered my, you know, something I couldn't <laughs> even say. This guy's going to be your, uh, write your biography for you. Well, that's yeah. right. <laughs> well, but it's, it's facts what he's saying because I feel like individually all of us have like a couple of songs that are, that are always in our mind when we're feeling some type of way. Course. If we want to get 100%. hyped up in the gym, if we're sad, if we're mad, there's always we have songs that that are just connected to us for years, you know. Oh yeah, and and gives us some energy inside, man. I don't know. I don't know if. And you it's pick because it of up. what you're saying, though, because they express such deep emotion that you you feel like sometimes that song is written for you. You're like, yo, yes. I'm living through this track mm -hmm. right now. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And it has some intrinsic energy or emotion that it transmits to you, that helps you kind of have that extra strength you didn't know that you had to cope with the things you're going through the things that exactly. you're going through that's 100%. why we need music let me tell you if you try to live a life without music <laughs> it's not a life that's just surviving <laughs> that's just surviving you're still alive really because music is everything man it speaks into the deepest parts of you that you that nothing else can speak it's only music that can honestly and music is just beautiful like the instruments just just everything for about real, it is for real beautiful not, i may not be involved with music and i have a different uh like uh path that i want to go through but uh yeah no if you don't listen to music every day like everybody who i know they always i ask them just like you know just talking hey what music do you listen do you listen to i've never met somebody who doesn't listen to music all the time and just loves it i mean there's a reason that when you go in the car all the radios are all music exactly yeah. And, and even but it's a different path, but in, in a way, it's a similar path, though, if you really think about it, because you're following something that motivates you, right? That keeps you going every day. But what even like, even like, even if let's say you don't want to listen to music, like there's a, like just like for example, try watching a movie without music. <laughs> mm. Try watching a movie without score, you know, without and sometimes you don't even need words, you know. Sometimes it's just classical music or anything, but. There's so, like music is integrated in so many more forms than just like actual like MP3s yeah. or mm -hmm. listening music. Try going you know, to like the mall and having no music playing, <laughs> bro. For real. All you hear, all you hear is children. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Footsteps <laughs> and children's crying. Yeah, <laughs> That'd be boring, man. Children crying. Oh my gosh. <laughs> all right, guys. Let's. Uh, how, what do you guys think of having a little fun right now? Can we drop a little beat, maybe a little freestyle or something, a little harmony, little. A little some some. Hey, let's go. Let's see. Say? Let's see what happens. You want me to give you the beat? Maybe Sky should do the beat <laughs> <coughs> with some harmonies or something. I don't know. A little creative. Oh, like that. No, like a beat like that. Okay. I thought you were going to do instrumental. You know? uh, let's see. What do you want to do? You want to do a little harmony? The first of it. Ain't no ball like beat. Right. Let's let the beat be 
Twenty-one point six. Don't joke, Ana. Let's just see. Hey, hey, yeah. I'm hearing gringo latinos hablando lo fino con los míos. You know, this is like yo. Estamos donde hace frío menos treinta. You already know I got la. I won't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep it PG. You already know it's M A G I I I C C. That's Magic Says. The only place where I'm going is where I'm flowing. I pass it down to D so she can keep it going. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, man. Uh, bring that back, damn. bring that bring back, back. guys, bring that back, guys. <laughs> DJ. <laughs> you wanna go, Diana? You have a beat? Oh, I don't even know. Uh, let me try. Can we hear it though? If you play a beat. Or Skaz, why don't you what? Or how about this? Why, why don't you sing? Why don't you sing that chorus to one for me real That's quick? What I yeah, why don't you sing that chorus to one for me? Ain't no ball like beats. Are you waiting for me? Yeah, we're waiting for you. Hold on, let me nope. try. No pressure. Uh, la nena que tiene dumbao, rolling in the phone with six side. Looking for the good times and some good vibes. Always, oh, I can't say that word here. It's <laughs> it's okay. but I was on the same word. It's all good. I think we should get Skies into a chorus in here though. Drop those it's, vocals. It's guys, it's guys. Welcome back. Cause all I ever wanted was you. All I ever wanted was you. But you let me go. Why? Why did you let me go? Okay. I was there. I was there for you. I held your hand. I held your hand. Else was uh oh, oh, oh. Love it, okay, love it, love guys. it. I'm sick, I'm sick. So we just got a message from Camilo's mom. She said that she approves swear words. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's he knows them all. So Diana, what do you think? Oh, you wanna know what was that? You left me. What do you say? It's pretty sick. I was, I was, I was there for you. <clears throat> I was there for you, you left me stranded Even though my heart is branded I only talk about you to all of my friends And now I don't know what to do This love has no end Yeah, now tell oh, me, shit. baby girl, where we gonna go from here? I just wanna know, my dear Do I leave you over there? Are you gonna leave me here? Just stranded and cold I wanna know, is this love getting old? Is it just becoming something that you don't wanna be hearing in the morning? Every time I'm waking up, I'm snoring I'm thinking, is you with somebody else or is you with me? And now I'm thinking, baby Baby, you gon' sing to me like Whitney I'm like, no, no, no Sky, sing him a no so they give can hear that I wanna heart. hear how you can sing uh, and let them feel that Give me so your heart yeah. uh, Baby girl, just give call me, me. Your heart. Uh, Baby girl, just call me it. Give me your heart Give me your heart Here we go hey. Give me your give heart, heart. Just a harmony, just a Give me your heart Give me your heart Give that was two boys. That's two boys. That was already a track as we yeah, gave away for track, free, guys. right that there. That little snippet of Diana was enough. <laughs> that yeah, was yeah. sick. That was sick. That was sick, guys. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate that. You that know, was you know, thanks to y'all. Thanks to y'all. Yeah, that was a freestyle that was thing. Flat. That's a, that's what you see. What I meant. That's when that magic you get in the pocket. and That magic happens. You know, we were in the pocket for a second. All three of us there. You know, in the pocket. Yeah, that was good. So, so to give Camille a little rundown, that little energy you felt there. That's how like a song's made. So similar, if you get into directing or whatever, you're going to have that similar energy when you have, you know, different yeah. creative components. Uh, yeah, we gonna need a we gonna need a clip of that. That was a little fire. <laughs> oh, we gonna need a clip of that's an Instagram. No, seriously, you have to right give, me that. <laughs> give me your heart, bro. Next bro, track coming out. Give me your heart, <laughs> Toronto. Yeah. Well, the, one for me remix. The next <laughs> trio coming with the next track. We already have it made. <laughs> All right, guys. Where can people find you? How can they follow you? What's popping this Friday? Let's give everybody a rundown. Diana, you can go ahead with that if you want. Uh, y'all can follow me on Instagram, uh, de los angeles d underscore d. Uh, on Apple Music, Spotify, 
Diana de Los Angeles. I'm all, um, on all platforms, and yeah. Okay, so again, Magic, where can I find you? Magic says, you know, on all social platforms, Spotify, YouTube, anything, all that good stuff, you know, para la gente latina, que la español, en todas las redes sociales, Magic says, you already know. Como que es colombiano, creo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, where can they find you? Um, you guys can find me on Instagram. Make sure you give me a follow at Skies Music. It's spelled S K Y Z Z Music. You can also find me on YouTube as Skies, Apple Music, Spotify. You know, stream <coughs> a few songs and send me a DM on, DM on Instagram. Tell me what you think. You know, there I you will go. have a conversation with you. I promise. Okay. There you go. Uh, Jonah, by the way, we're going to raid Danny Castro. If that's okay, let me know when that's ready. Or you and let's not it. forget you, October 15th. One for oh me this yeah. Friday. Bro. You're going to be we're able gonna, to listen to that all uh, everywhere. We're going to play that clip again of the song. Uh, before that, and before we raid Danny Castro, we're going to get Camilo do the outro. You cool with that? Yeah. little outro. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Whatever you want to tell them, the audience. Yeah, well, uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. And I am truly uh, blessed to be here right <laughs> now because, wow, that was really amazing. That was awesome. And I feel like, as I said, I've known everything to this point, and then you guys just kind of went crazy with that and it was awesome and uh, i hope everybody felt the same way uh and yeah today's been an awesome episode uh i think we all had fun here and uh yeah i hope you guys tune in for the next episode who knows if i'll be here maybe i'll just be in the shadows once again waiting <laughs> <laughs> in the shadows laying <laughs> <laughs> in his bed just looking at the ceiling he's gonna make okay. it to a song <laughs> all right guys that's a wrap for today thank you so much we are gonna go to our clip of the music video to, uh, Want For Me which comes out on Friday Diana Los Angeles Sky's Music Magic Sace you already and know and after that tune in to DJ Danny Castro he's DJing right now live on Twitch as well uh, here uh, on uh. Twitch we try to support each other show each other love so stay tuned for that if you want to listen to some good music when's that release date again? Uh, this Friday there you go make sure you watch it <laughs> make sure this Friday the 15th of October Boom. So, song is all right from me. Me. when you wake up in the morning you'll be able to hear that song and while you're going to work 6 p.m when you get home from work you got the music video waiting for especially you especially when your boss tells you a whole bunch of stuff you don't want to hear you can ask him what you want from me <laughs> boss what do you want from me <laughs> there you go that's it for today go folks uh gringo latino talks to you next week tuesday 9 p.m same place same time uh, 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 love uh, you all uh, thank uh, you so uh, much have a good night uh, no, tanto sufrimiento, ahora solo pienso en el dinero. Por eso yo no creo en el amor, termino siempre con dolor. Estando solo estoy mejor. Estando solo estoy mejor, contigo siempre estoy peor. Yo ya no extraño tu calor. I gave you all I had, but you stabbed me in the back. So tell me what you want from me. You say that you miss me, but you kiss me and then leave me. So tell me what you.